guys, it's Morgan, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the movie Inside Out 2. Now, if you haven't seen Inside Out 2, there will be spoilers in this review. So stop watching if you don't want to be spoiled. So here's my review of the movie Inside Out 2. It was nice to see how Riley met her best friends, Grace and Bree. And I also really loved seeing joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust working together to help Riley while she was playing ice hockey. But their approach to helping Riley was a lot different to anxiety, embarrassment, envy, and ennui's approach. So that definitely made things difficult. But it was obvious that all of Riley's emotions were going to find a way to work together. I understood why Riley was upset when she found out that Grace and Bree were going to be going to a different high school. But I still felt sorry for Grace and Bree when Riley ditched them while they were at ice hockey camp so she could hang out with Valentina and her friends. Yes, I know that anxiety made Riley do it, but it was still really sad to see. So I really loved when Riley apologized to Grace and Bree and they forgave her. It was also really nice to see that Riley was still in contact with Grace and Bree while she was hanging out with Valentina and her friends at high school. It shows that you can still keep your old friends, but also make new ones. The scene when joy, sadness, anger, fear, and disgust were locked in the memory vault and they met Blofy, Pouchy, Lance Slash Blade, and Deep Dark Secret was hilarious. My favorite part was when it looked like Blofy was talking to the audience, but he was actually talking to a wall. It was very reminiscent of Blue's Clues and Dora the Explorer. I also really loved when Sadness got back to headquarters and was hiding from the new emotions, but then embarrassment saw her, but instead of telling anxiety, embarrassment helped Sadness. Right when Valentina and her friends told Riley about the ice hockey coach's notebook, I knew that Riley was going to break into the coach's office so she could see what she wrote about her. But I was surprised that she wasn't caught since what I thought was going to happen was that the ice hockey coach would find out that Riley broke into her office 
and because of that she was going to decide that Riley wouldn't be on the ice hockey team and that would be a lesson for Riley but that didn't happen and even though no one specifically said that Riley made the ice hockey team based on Riley's reaction at the end of the movie it's safe to say that she did. What I really love about this movie is that Anxiety wasn't a villain. In her own way, she was just doing what she thought was best for Riley and then realized that it wasn't. I also really loved the scene when Joy told Anger, Fear, and Disgust that they couldn't defeat Anxiety. And that's true. You might not be able to completely get rid of Anxiety, but there are ways that you can deal with it. And I also loved that even though Joy said that they couldn't defeat anxiety, she wasn't going to stop doing what she could to help Riley. And Joy also realized that Riley needed her positive memories and her negative memories. Now, Inside Out 2 has a scene during the credits and also a scene after the credits. The scene during the credits is Riley having dinner with her parents and telling them how ice hockey camp was. The scene after the credits is Joy going back to the memory vault to find out what Riley's deep dark secret is. Now, when I saw the movie, I saw the scene during the credits, but then I left before the credits were over. Even though I did think it was a possibility that there would be a scene after the credits, but I still left, but I was able to find the scene online, so I have seen it. But if you're watching this and you haven't seen Inside Out 2, but you're planning to, don't leave during the credits. Thanks for watching, guys! If you saw Inside Out 2, let me know in the comments what you thought about it. And if you want to see any of my future videos, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!